This video explains proven techniques to save money in cloud from any provider every day. So it doesn't matter whether you are using AWS, Azure, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Alibaba or any other cloud. You can use these techniques and these tips to save cost in your cloud every day. Best way to save money is not to spend at all. The second best way is to only spend it on what's required. This timeless savings principle is also valid in Cloud or FinOps as they call it these days. In order to save money, first you need to know where you are spending money. So in Cloud, how do you know where money is disappearing? Tagging is a magic potion here. A meaningful, well thought out tagging regime is the key. Make sure nothing in your cloud gets provisioned without tags. Tag means key as well as its value. Just putting in keys to the cloud resources without any custom value is meaningless. For example, if it's a virtual machine, you should put tags which would describe this virtual machine from 360 degree. Things such as who created this and when, which application this VM belongs to, who is the contact person if this goes down or if the, any maintenance needs to be done, is this critical or not, what schedule should it run to, any patching info, is database present on this in instance or not, support over and so on. So these tags and its values depend a lot on your organization. Try to automate these tags keys and values as much as possible. On provisioning the resources, all the resources must have tags, keys and default or custom values. Try to populate these values as much as possible through your scripts. The less the manual effort, the better. For example, you can populate who created it and when through scripting. You can also use scripting to ascertain what's running inside, is antivirus present and running and so on. Connect these scripts to your CMDB or your configuration management database and populate tag values from there too. This integration will standardize lots of configuration items in your organization. Once you have sorted out your tagging, it's time to generate daily and weekly reporting from scripts. From this reporting, you should be able to see in any tool of your choice as which resources are compliant and which ones are not. You can also use cloud provider specific tooling to do the heavy lifting here. Gleaning valuable information from this scripting can take you a long way. You can also use third party tools to view these cloud resources and their cost in graphical formats. Now you know what's running and what it's costing in your cloud, then the next step is to trim the cost. There are three broad approaches for that. First and foremost, just terminate it or delete the resource if it is not being used. Most of the time people create something as POC or as their learning or just to test something out and then they forget to clean it up. Also, if you have a sandpit account where people go and test their stuff for, for any purpose, then most of the time it is brimming with clutter. The best practice here is to just nuke it every month or delete the whole account every month and recreate it. And for this recreation, you can use AWS Control Tower so that whenever you recreate an account, it will have all the guardrails and all the best practices already installed in it and you won't have to do any manual step. You can even automate this process through any script. Second thing or second approach in trimming the cost is right sizing. Run automation to know the resource utilization and then act accordingly. So this automation could be your cloud dependent. There are various tools available in every cloud provider or you could run your own scripts to ascertain how much a resource is being used. Third approach is to schedule. If it is not required, then stop it. Most of the AWS or any GCP or Oracle cloud have have been segregated into prod and non-prod workloads. Most or all of the non-prod workloads and even some of the prod workloads don't need to run 24 by 7. So during the off hours or during the weekends, 
there is no point in running them because every minute cost you so when something is not being used then turn it off remember this FinOps or cost optimization is an ongoing battle this is part of your cloud operations and you have to remain on top of it to avoid cloud bill shocks automation is your friend here above all communication is key take support from your leadership team by showing them numbers and then get them to communicate above three cost optimization measures across the board to all stakeholders thank you later i hope this was useful if you have any comments or feedback please put them in the comments. Thank you.